going to talk about her just a little bit just because I just spent so much time on her costume. So this was a uh, the dress pattern was a very retro Barbie doll outfit. I believe it's from the 90s. Um, let's see. So I had to reduce it quite a bit to fit a Blythe because the Barbies at that time were larger busted or more curvy in the top. Uh, this is, of course, the doll I usually use for Wednesday. I just gave her some elf ears. Um, I gave her some purple eyes. Oh, and she is supposed to be a twilight fairy. So she's the dark, the fairy that comes right before it gets dark. So she has a moon and a star on her dress. Her headpiece is a, um, very vintage brooch that belonged to my grandmother. I just pinned it onto the uh, coil I have in her hair, holding her hair up. Her wings are a simple netting that I just put some loose glue tack on the back so that I could just stick them on and didn't have to sew them on. And I just did uh, lines up through the the netting with my sewing machine. Did a little bit of um, uh, sparkly thread on the outer part. Her uh, wand is just simple beads, and this is like a very, uh, I can also use them for earrings or like what you would buy at an embroidery store. I think you add them on to, they have a backing, and you can add them on to embroidery if you want to, to finish your piece, and um, they just snap into the little circle. Uh, she has uh, a black netting underskirt, black and white stockings, and then uh, some shoes that Mar Darren had made and Marna has sent me. Please check out the rest of the YouTube channels that are using the hashtag Dolls Gone Goth dark fairy, especially our hostesses of Dolls Gone Goth, Jay at J Dolls UK and Marna at Dolls Rescue. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day or evening or both. Oh, I forgot one important thing. She's the fairy that helps the lost creatures of the forest find their way home. And that's why she comes out at twilight. Now, thank you so much for watching. And have a wonderful day or evening. Or both.